You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. For Williamson resident Rebecca Lucas, being able to help her town is more than just an accomplishment. They just asked me if I wanted to come down, you know, and paint these fire hydrants and stuff. And I was like, well, yeah, you know, and I put it on Facebook like, you know, hey, I want, you know, I'm getting ready to do something, you know, big to me, it is big because I want to be part of my town. In 2019, with the help of a local judge, Lucas was given a second chance at life after years of drug abuse. Since 2019, Lucas has remained clean of drugs and has decided to give back to her community. The way I'm drawing these things on this is for the children, because when they get older, I mean, right now as children, they're going to look at that and that amuses them. Like, you know, seeing those little cartoons, that crayon down there, they're going to think, hey, that's a crayon. Like, you know, they're going to want to stand beside that and take a picture. Since abandoning drugs, a mission of Lucas has been for others to see their creative side and use that to better themselves. Why anytime, you know, if you go to any rehabs or anything, you know, I went to rehab for four months, you know. First thing they do in there is make you, like, you know, start coloring, start drawing stuff, you know. And some of it's childish stuff, but to really get into, like, really doing some good stuff, you know, you got to think of it and do it yourself, you know. Just, I don't know. Me, it's always, it's just something simple. Like, to me, something drawing, like sitting here looking at you right now, I could probably draw you. Like sitting here looking straight at your face. I could draw your face just by looking at you with paint. To him, that would be unworldly, you know. It, you know, it's something that he couldn't do. But to me, it's something simple. So, I mean, I don't know. It just, it just helps, especially when you're in that time of being an addict. It gets your mind off of thinking of things around you. Because your body, when you're an addict, you crave, you know, the things of being an addict. Along with using one's creative side to ditch drugs, Lucas says it's important to give addicts a second chance, citing the importance of finding support. you got to be given a chance. And yes, there are a lot of programs out here. And I'm going to say for one, these programs, they will work if you want them to work. But if you don't, I mean, it's just like anything else. It ain't going to work. You know, I mean, if you don't want to get clean, you're not going to get clean. That's just the whole simple. I don't care how much you try to help somebody. You like me and him. Me and him or each other's shoulder. We keep each other clean. His habits was pills and stuff. You know, mine was an alcoholic and cocaine, you know, all this other stuff. You know, we so we keep each other leveled out. Like, you know, if, if one of us tries to get straight away to do something, uh-uh, you know, we, we, we go to each other, you know, we lean on each other. The younger years is done and over with. I'm 40, I'll be 44 years old this year, you know? I mean, growing up, yeah, woo, it was fun. But when that addiction takes over, oh, it ain't fun no more. I mean, it's deadly. But, I mean, it's time to just grow up and learn to be part of the world. I walked every day. We, every time you see me, I walked. I walked everywhere I went because I didn't have a vehicle. I didn't have nothing. But now I do. Just, just got to get away from drugs. Got to leave them alone. You have to. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.